Hey everybody, and thanks for coming back for another puzzle. This time I have the button box from Moens, M-O-W-E-N-S. Uh, I got this on Puzzle Paradise. I left the seller's uh, shop link down here. Um, it is a sequential discovery that has 21 moves and 20 pieces that totally comes apart. So it won't just be like, you know, this side comes off and you take something out of the middle kind of thing. This whole thing will completely come apart. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to get into this one. <coughs> Here we go. Okay, so obviously right on top we have the button. First thing. Uh, these sides appear as if they will move. I mean they're going to have to if we want to get to the inside. You can see the cut on this one. The bottom piece is going to kind of go out that way. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so none of the sides move yet, so obviously our next step is push the button and see if any sides will move. Or if the button, maybe it pops the bottom out. Alright, so we'll push the button. Hmm. Do they pop off? Like drawers maybe? the button far enough. This one wants to move. Uh, maybe it has to be held in a certain direction. I don't know. if one of these is side to side and not necessarily up and down. Yeah, these, this one and this one look like they might be side to side, so let's try that first. I was thinking up and down. Okay, so if I don't push the button, I can't push this side out at all. But if I do... Ah! There we go. I'm not sure... Okay. It's, there wasn't anything with the... Um, how we held the box. It's because it was... Both sides had to come off. Yeah, so there's these two little uh, pins on the inside here that are in this slot here. And when you push the button, this slides out of the way and allows you to pull it out. Uh, I noticed that there appears to be a tool of some sort on the inside here. There's some dovetails here. There's one, there's one dovetail here, so does this side come off? There we go. Um, does this side come off? This side comes down. There's a little wedge piece right here. And then... I'm going to have to get this one off because there's a tool inside here. You see it right there? in the corner. And pull straight up. There we go. It's just a tight fit. Okay, so it had these half dovetails here. They were in these notches here. And we've got a tool, a little L cane type piece. I'm going to put our completed pieces over here. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on here. 
Uh, we still have this side to take off, the bottom and the top. Uh, we've got this square here that has this little white plastic piece on the inside that slides up just to be flush with this. It doesn't go any further and it doesn't come down any further than this. Okay, uh, when I was taking these sides off, I noticed that if I push the button down past the surface of this level, I can slide it out. Okay, <clears throat> so that's all the farther this comes out. It doesn't go up or down, but it looks like it might have freed this up. Yep, so now we can take this piece all the way off. Just a long dovetail here, so maybe now I can take this piece and go that way. Okay, that passes over the button and allows us to take it off. So now does the button come out? The button and the two side pieces come out. Uh, they come all the way off. That just pull straight out. Okay, boy, this is going to be fun to put back together. Uh, okay, we have these little spring type things that fell out. Oh, that must that was under the button here, hooked up to these two things, and they were springs that were pushing it back up. Okay, uh, we've got another dovetail on the inside here. So this piece should come out now. Does it go this way? There's another dovetail here. This one comes out. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to put the sides over here. This was in, well, it's a tool. We'll hold on to it here. These pieces go together. Oop. Uh, and this one we'll put over here. Okay, so what's next? Uh, we've got these two little pieces here. They look like they might be tools. Well, they're definitely going to come out. So now can I get this one off? So this <coughs> white piece goes up into a little slot in here, which is preventing me from pulling it out. I have to figure out how to get this white piece down further. Maybe it's something with this. There's some some printing on the inside here. Uh, so maybe I can use that as... No. Okay, what else is going to come apart? We have a dovetail on the bottom here, so maybe this piece comes out now. figure out the white piece this side will come out. What was right here? Uh, I don't see anything I have that fits into this space. Maybe that's something later? Okay, so I think my next move is to get this white piece to go down, but, oh, maybe this is a banging. And then I don't know what, we still have these pieces that... They don't come out just yet. Is that the only thing that's moving in here? Is this? Hmm. It's not definitely not going to come down any further. And it's in there, right? Wait.
Uh, I think there's another. I can see. I don't know. Maybe it's just a part of the printing. Oh, okay. Never mind. How is it not this on the bottom? What could be preventing this from coming out? Maybe that's this piece is somehow stopping it? Oh, it's definitely not coming out. It has to be this piece. But how do I get this white to go further down? And what's written on it? Oh, it looks like it might be an M. Maybe the logo for Moans. The only tool I have... Oh, I wonder if this goes down in here. Hello. Okay, so there seems to be like a, a maze of some sort. So when I put it in uh, like this, and I try to rotate it clockwise, I can't. Uh, it runs up against the inside of the wall here, but if I rotate it counterclockwise, I can turn it 90 degrees. And then I wonder if I can pull it, and then can I slide it down and pull this piece out? this side. I can rotate it so there's a channel in there. Is there something to push? Ah, oh, there we go. I just was, I don't know what happened there. Uh, so what happened there this was in like this. Oh, I see. Uh, and I put the... I'll do it like this. Put the tool in, and we're able to rotate it into the gap here. And pull it up. Uh, this is probably sitting in a little chamber down in here. So let's do the other one. this off now? No. So this is still locking it. Why can't I do the same thing I did on... take my exacto knife see if I can pry it up just a little bit this seems I don't know I mean it seems like it should just slot in there pretty easy so I'm not sure why I couldn't do that maybe I'll be able to see inside when I take it apart uh, so this piece comes off we were right about it sitting inside the two channels here now this piece is gonna slide down uh, which stops the white piece from going up into this, which pulls off. What? It doesn't pull off? There we go. It's just a tight print. 
And then this piece will probably slide all the way out. No? Okay, then the white piece comes out. Uh, it's not an M. It's, I don't know if that's the logo for Moen's. We'll look it up in a second. This piece doesn't come out. This is the last one. There's no other... Let's count how many pieces we have here. I think I said 20... 20? 1, 2... Seventeen. So this is eighteen. The whole body is nineteen. I mean, I guess the only reason this one has to move is to clear this. But, I mean, why not make it so you can take it out? It should just go up this way. Let me look up the listing for it again. Maybe I have the number of pieces wrong. Oops. I think I paused the timer there. Oh no. Oh, stopwatch. Okay, it's still running. Come on. This is a old Nexus 6P, so it's super old and sluggish. Alright, I'm just going to do it on my... Oops. On my personal phone. Uh, 20 step sequential discovery puzzle with a couple of spring-loaded elements, 21 individual pieces. Okay. 21, I said. Right? 21 pieces. So, let's count again. Seventeen. Eighteen. The body is nineteen. And two more. Unless is there something I missed on some of these pieces? No, they all appear to be... Where's the... Oh, that's this. I wonder if it's something to do with this piece. Oh, I, oh, I can push it down... <coughs> inside here. Why else would this gap be here? Oh, there's more springs in there. What? There was. I hit the... There we go. Oh, they're a little like, uh... They're not like these springs. They're just little side springs, kind of like a, a bumper on a... What you call it? Pinball machine? So it just fits inside there, pushes those two down, which are inside these two notches here. They appear as if they will come out. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Holy smokes, that was slick. That was super slick. Look at all these different pieces. Uh, well printed, except for uh, this one. I don't know why. Where did this go? Okay, so here's the internal of that piece I had trouble with. So the two, this notch lines up with this channel here. We put it in, rotate it. No, 
okay, it must be out. Where's the... Where's the piece that went over this? What piece was right here? This one? Hmm. Put it down to here. Maybe you're supposed to slot it in and then rotate it? Wait. Oh, that's not this. I can, so I can't see, I can see down in there, but I can't see why, well, now I can't get it back in, it goes like this. I just can't, I can't see why I couldn't slot that in there. That's so weird. I think it was down too far. So you can see here it's not flush with the surface. But if I push on the bottom a little bit. And make it fuss with the surface I can't I can't put it in there so it's not supposed to be so actually uh, it wasn't a printing error uh, it was my error when I bumped it I bumped it up flush to the surface and out of position was what happened there that's why it couldn't be uh, couldn't be pulled out except for my exacto knife okay uh, let's go ahead and put it up together and then put it back together and then we'll wrap it up Okay, so we're finishing putting this back together. Uh, I noticed that the orientation for this button does matter. This white piece uh, that can slide up and down here actually sits in a little channel right here. So you have to have the box upside down so that the white piece falls out of that channel to allow you to take it apart. Holy smokes, what a trip. That was a trip just getting it back together, man. Uh, this was great. Uh, I very much enjoyed this compact. This is, I don't know, two, two inches or so on each face. Uh, a lot packed in here for something so it's very deceiving. You've got a button and some size, but there's a ton going on in here. So props to Melon for this one. This was great. Uh, check out the Puzzle Paradise store that I got it from down below. Check out my Bluetooth app, uh, Moonplay Cosmetics by my sister-in-law. And also there's a lot of... Uh, puzzles out there. I'm sure you know the big ones like Chris and Mr. Puzzle. But there are some smaller ones too that uh, do some great work and one of those is Doc Hitchcock. Uh, you can check his channel out below. I've tagged it and he's also got his own puzzle coming out soon called uh, Osiris's Chalice. Looks pretty slick. I uh, can't wait to see him do a video on that. So that's it for the puzzle box by Moens. I've got another one from Moens that I'll do maybe next. This is called Oliver. It's a uh, pig shaped sequential discovery puzzle. And we'll get into that next. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.